Hi, it's Steph Wagner, bariatric dietitian on foodcoach.me. Wow, today is December 10th. Doesn't it seem like it wasn't that long ago I posted a video about it being early November? Here we are in the middle of December. This is the time of the holiday season that holiday parties start really gearing up. Maybe it's for school, church, work, the neighborhood, or all the above. But chances are your schedule is really full right now. So, how do you enjoy holiday parties without putting on weight? It seems like an oxymoron, like it just doesn't go together. Well, let me share my tips to having a great time without feeling terrible after a party. Number one, ask yourself if this is the kind of party you can bring a dish to share. If it is, offer to the host or hostess that you'd love to bring a dish, but be very specific about what you'd like to bring. You might offer three options, such as, I'd love to bring something to the party. Would you prefer a cheese tray, meatballs, or deviled eggs? Every host loves some help, and those three dishes are great options, but by being specific, you had control over what you might be assigned to bring. If you just said, I'd like to bring something, you might be in charge of bringing the puppy chow. <laughs> Hello, danger. When you bring a dish to a party, you know there'll be something that you can have. You're the one that brought it. Number two, if this is not the kind of party that you can bring something to, eat a little something before you go. Maybe a few cheese sticks or low-fat cottage cheese. This will help you to not be ravenous when you walk into the party and your eye starts catching the buffet. You will feel more in control with protein on your stomach. Number three, when you do approach the buffet line, don't pick up a plate until you've looked through the entire table. Nothing is worse than filling your plate and then realizing there is something even better at the end of the table. This will also help you stay in control of your plate and know exactly what you'll be enjoying before you even pick it up. Number four, focus on whatever lean protein options you can find. Shrimp, turkey, ham, deviled eggs, deli meat tray. Fill up on all those good proteins. The best case scenario is that half of your plate is protein based. Number five, focus on veggies next. Salad, raw veggies, pickle spears, green beans, whatever they may have, especially if it's not cream based. Enjoy your plate and also strategically place yourself away from any dessert tables. Save your special occasion dessert for Christmas, not the Christmas party. It will be tempting in the moment, no one will lie about that, but if you can keep yourself distracted, you may leave that party feeling like a champion because you are. Number six, if there are drinks at this party, you might consider bringing your own. Use Crystal Light as a mixer to avoid sugar or choose dry red wines for lower sugar options. Stay hydrated and be smart. One last comment I want to make for today's Surviving the Holiday video is about politely denying foods when they're offered. You may experience people asking why you aren't eating or try pushing something on you that you know you shouldn't be having. If someone asks you a question like, are you eating dessert? My biggest suggestion is not to say I'm dieting. This can lead to an awkward conversation where either the person feels judged or uncomfortable because they are eating the dessert, or it leads to comments like, oh come on, just a small bite. Instead, be kind but direct by saying, no thank you, but also add a compliment to the end. Instead of, no thank you, I'm full, but it all looks so delicious, or maybe in a little bit, they did a great job. Try to skirt the conversation out of something about the decorations or the party or the host. This will set you up a little better to dodge an awkward conversation. Once again, happy holidays from my family to yours, and may you enjoy this season and all the blessings it has to offer. Thank you.